Devang. Congratulations, first of all, for securing All India Rank 26 in ALIT LLM entrance examination and getting admission into India as one of the premier law school, that is National Law University, Delhi. So first of all, tell me, you have been a student of Lex Templum throughout the year, and it feels so nice to see our students getting so good All India Ranks in our exams. So first tell me, how do you feel after securing such a good rank? Firstly, I when I saw my result, I, I was very relaxed that I don't have to give any other entrance examination right now. And uh, secondly, I was very, I was ecstatic, obviously, because uh, I was not expecting that I would be getting all India rank 26, because after I gave my exam, I was, my exam went pretty well. But after uh, discussing with my, with other, with my friends, they were saying that 120 plus would be the cutoff and 110 plus would be the cutoff. So somewhere I got a setback that will I be able to make it right now as well. But after seeing my result and seeing my name at, uh, seeing my role, uh, role number at All India Rank 26, that really made me feel good. Great, so when you work hard, you don't have to worry for the results and you got it. So yes, uh, just tell me what tips and strategies you want to share with the upcoming aspirants who will be writing this examination next year. Uh, with the upcoming aspirants, I would just like to uh, ask ask them to be very, to be very practical with whatever they are doing, because that is very important uh, in any competitive examinations, uh, not just CLAT or ALIT. And secondly, I would like to ask them to go and um, see the syllabus of this particular exam, because NLU Delhi has uh, stated the syllabus, the main subjects that they, they are going to ask, like constitution, international law, contract. So just they just have to go there and see the syllabus and focus on those aspects, focusing focusing on covering the basics of those. And obviously, if they have written excerpts, also that means uh, they will ask some contemporary developments as well. So we have to also uh, look into the other contemporary legal developments that are going on in the country. So this is the basic strategy to uh, cover the basic uh, basic provisions CRP uh, from the Bayer Acts, and then also to be very practical. With whatever they are doing, that is what. Uh, so Devang, you also Devang, you also got a pretty decent rank in CLAT. You obviously got a very good rank in ALIT. So how do you manage preparing for the same exam simultaneously? Like, uh, two exams separately, who have a separate syllabus, separate pattern, and then also securing pretty decent rank in both the periods. Well, uh, in my opinion, I don't think that you need to prepare separately for both examinations because. Uh, Somewhere uh, down the line, when you are preparing for CLAT, you are automatically preparing for ALIT as well. Because uh, the syllabus is quite overlapping. So you have to cover basic for CLAT as well. Of these, uh, constitution is basic for both. International is basic for both. So you have to cover uh, all these as aspects as well. So I don't think there is a separate uh, uh, strategy to prepare both. both of them but uh, yeah for uh, ALIT uh, one thing again I would like to assert is uh, to go through the bare provisions uh, as long as uh, as much as we can go through the bare provisions that is very important and uh, rest uh, Supreme Court judgments are also very important that are coming day to day in uh, and news in news day to day so yeah also they want what course material content and like what were the basic uh, I should say a material which you referred while preparing for the examination. Well, the basic material I would say uh, was notes given by Lex Templum. Obviously, that was my primary source. And the secondary were uh, the basic books like uh, the Bayer Acts. Bayer Acts were basic. And other books uh, for uh, like Constitution, I referred to MP Jain. And uh, for International Law, I referred to S.K. Kapoor. And all these, uh, the, the basic books that we have been reading in college, college uh, that that was my source, primarily. Okay. So, Adiva, uh, last but not the least, how did Lex Templum help you in your preparation journey? Uh, and what time, like how, uh, what was the amount of time you took for preparing for this specific exam? Uh, answering your first question, ma'am. Uh, Lex Templum uh, has been a constant support because uh, I gave their mocks for ALIT as well. And uh, many questions were asked from uh, those mocks. And uh, as I already highlighted that I referred to their uh, uh, notes
words for uh, prime, my primary source. And secondly, uh, uh, ma'am, could you please pardon your uh, second question? What amount of, like, what was the uh, three months, two months, or any specific time okay, okay. for student to start to preparing if he wants to write CLAT or English? Uh, I think uh, six months would be good because I myself started my preparing in January. Uh, in second on second or third January, so I think six months would be a good amount of time for preparing to go to examinations. Okay, then, uh, just last question, a very simple question. Every student while preparing for the exam makes a common mistake. So, was there a common mistake which you made, and you don't want other students to repeat that mistake? Yes, yes. Uh, the common mistake that I made in CLAT when I gave that exam uh, was not believing in myself. I, I was boggled up with what my friends were doing and what my friends said, and I was not believing in my own strategies. So that really backfired in my uh, examination in class. And that mistake that I promised that I would not repeat in further examinations, and I didn't repeat that in uh, ALIT as well. So that's just... Great, Devang. So you have set example for the students that with guidance, strategy, technique, and proper consistency and hard work, you can crack any exam. Any example for if you're hardworking, consistent towards your goal. So, uh, do you want to highlight any of the difference within the preparation strategy between CLAT and ALIT as such? Uh, I would say that in ALIT, we have to focus more on, um, the, again, as I said, that uh, solving more and more MCQs. So, in ALIT, we have to solve more and more MCQs. So that is first thing that uh, differentiates between the two examinations. And the second thing uh, that I would say is uh, reading uh, reading a lot for uh, because we have to develop that reading habit. Like this time around, uh, CLAT really focused on that reading comprehensions aspect because questions were directly uh, asked from there. So we have to improve our reading abilities for CLAT. So that is another thing that I would like to uh, highlight here that other aspects should focus and also Supreme Court judgments. Uh, they should start reading Supreme Court judgments right from the starting. So that is very important. Okay. Thank you so much, Devang, for connecting and I wish you all the best for your future and degree. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.